All right, so about a week ago, Jeff Staple actually posted on Instagram that he had a pair of sneakers that he did a collaboration with a company with, and he had about 12 pairs of them that he needed to find a good home for. I saw this and I liked it, but I didn't actually comment. But big, huge, mega shout out to the dude named C Maz. I'm actually gonna follow you right now on Instagram because you're the one that made this happen. He left a comment and said, probably best to gift a set to our guy, Hess Kicks. Anyway, fast forward, Staple DMs me and says, hey man, I wanna send a care package out to you. So this is the care package, dudes. So we gotta open this up, let's check it out. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. Appreciate you all for stopping by and watching though. This is a fun one, man. I never know uh, when something like this is gonna happen and super mega shout out to Jeff Staple. It's just one of those guys in the industry that I always look up to. I met Jeff years ago at ComplexCon when these dropped. He was actually wearing these before the release and uh, I mean, I just love these and I was lucky enough to hit a pair on sneakers. And then following that, he actually sent me a pair of these dunks uh, with a friends and family pack, which I still have on display over on this wall uh, because I have two pairs of these things. I bought a pair at resale because I wanted them so bad with the Panda Pigeon Dunks. And that care package also had one of these guys in it, which I still have in my room on display over on uh, this wall over here as well. But this uh, this is crazy, man. I'm super excited to see what uh, was sent over. Let's go ahead and open it up quick. I have a feeling I know what it is. I mean, but I don't know for sure what it looks like. So we'll see what, it, what we have here. So we have a pair. Oh wow. So this is a staple collaboration with Allbirds as you can see right here. And I'm familiar with this box because I did a review on these shoes already earlier this year. But here we have the shoes. This is nuts. So let's take a look at these things. The box on the tree dashers are really good actually too. This is rad too. It says on the box friends and flock. This is crazy. So this is an alternate version to the ones that released with Allbirds and staple collaboration. This is a really nice version of the Allbirds Tree Dasher. Obviously, it has a staple a signature colors on here, but this one has a sample not for sale on the side, and then also has a pigeon on the back right here. So I'm looking at the retail pair, and some of the differences are the midsole, the bottom half had more of that pigeon pink on the bottom, and then the toe box area and the tongue, this is all gray on the release pair as well, and then it had a trim of the pigeon pink around the liner. Also, it says 9.2 on the side right here. It doesn't say sample, not for resale. On the inside, you can see it has like a sky liner, and then it has all birds and staple. And then on the back side of this, it says made with castor bean oil. So if you didn't know the whole thing about all birds, it's the releasing shoes that are supposed to have a lower carbon footprint than an average pair of sneakers. So this one says 9.2. So just to give you a description of the shoes, it says Jeff Staple turned the tree dasher inside out to highlight its natural materials and spark conversation around the carbon footprint of the things we wear. Natural materials, a lace-free design, carbon footprint on display, distinct staple pigeon details. Merino wool, eucalyptus tree fibers, Brazilian sugar cane. These all play a pivotal role in creating a shoe that feels great, but even better, they represent our best opportunity to get that 9.2 kg CO2E closer to zero. So years ago, I bought the Allbirds wool runners and they were pretty decent shoes. They weren't like anything groundbreaking in my opinion, but then they released these, the tree dashers. And as you can see, these things, are filthy. I wore these to the beach and stuff on a, on a really long hike and I never cleaned them afterwards still. But the way that they design these things, it's just really cool. The fact that they're using natural materials to create the shoes and they're really, really comfortable on top of it. The midsole is really good. The insole liner is really good. The upper on the knit is good. The shape and style of the shoe is even good. I really like what they had to offer here. And then when I saw Staples original design on these, I was like, man, he took the Allbirds Tree Dasher and made it his own, which was super cool to see. But even better, he made it with the laceless approach. And I thought that was genius. It just looked really cool the way that he was able to flip it like that. But for sure, this version's lighter than the other pair because of the laces gun and then the little eyelet holes. So I like the fact that they did that uh, with the uh, just the stretch material right here on the tongue. The color blocking of this is super good. And the color blocking on the release pair was super good, to be honest, too. But this is an honor to be one of the 12 people that he selected to get a pair of, of his shoes, man. I saw a lot of crazy comments from a lot of pretty big names out there, and I'm I'm just shocked that he was able to send them my way. So, C Maz, I appreciate you for throwing my name out there like that, because I wouldn't have done it. I would have been too shy to say, yeah, send them my way. But uh, but when he reached out, I was like, what? Okay, like this is this is happening. Talk about a way to to improve somebody's week when you get that that message from somebody that you look up to and respect. Uh, it's a pretty cool feeling. But Jeff, thank you so much for these. And, and funny story, last time I was in Vegas, I was staying at the Venetian with the wife and we were checking out and I was in a coffee line like waiting to go. 
And there was a guy behind me, I think he was behind me or in front of me. He had some Adidas LX cons or Lexicons or whatever you call them. I think those are the shoes he had on. But I was like, dude, this guy looks so familiar. And then I checked his social later and he was at the Venetian. Like, I was like, no way. I was like, dude, I was right next to him in line. And I, I would have totally just sparked up conversation with him just because uh, it would have been super fun. And I was just waiting there for like 10, 15 minutes next to him and didn't really even say anything. Kind of a bummer. But but anyway, this is really cool. It's fun to be able to share this with you guys. And, and uh, I've been a fan of the Allbirds brand for a little while. So, so seeing a brand like Staple collaborate with Allbirds is just a huge power move in my opinion. I think if I'm not mistaken, it, it might be the only or first collaboration I've seen with Allbirds from a like a, a, a streetwear type company. I know Adidas and Allbirds are supposed to be creating something soon together. But, uh, but to see something from Staple and Allbirds was really rad. I'd like to see more of that in the future. And I think Allbirds is one of those companies, they're going to be continuing to grow. They hit a target market that nobody else is really focused on as well as they are. Nike and Adidas are doing a lot to reduce their carbon footprints year over year, which is a great thing as well. But this company started with that foundation in mind. And I think that they've been doing a pretty good job. And they definitely have like their little cult following uh, for people that like all birds but that's the video i appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching and this is just a too cool of a care package to get uh i I'm, I'm not worthy i don't even feel worthy but uh but i'm much much appreciative and thankful uh, for this opportunity to be able to get these if you guys want to follow jeff over on instagram or shop at staple pigeon website i'll link those in the description for you guys but but what a rad day today has uh become anyway thank you guys for stopping by and watching subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more videos peace guys